Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RGSE. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame that it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, so let's map out some levels of support, and then we can talk areas of resistance for the week. First level of support that stands out is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up there above 44 cents. You can see quite a bit of... Uh, you know, history right here, especially this afternoon around 44 cents. And the bears tried several times to push down through there, but to give credit or credits due, the bulls, you know, did do a good job of digging in and, you know, holding strong there. So 44 cents is what I would, again, consider that ideal level of support. Now, in the event the price does drop below it, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that, uh, but that is where the next kind of more so big picture level of support comes into play. The famous 50 period simple moving average being defined by that purple line there. And as the name implies, moving average. So this line here is going to move itself higher and higher as time goes by. So a very efficient and simple way to measure the health of the move. This right here being defined as quote unquote, the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health. How are you gonna best visualize that? No questions asked. Again, yeah, standing above 44 cents would be great. But from the big picture of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as sellers and resistance levels, the main one here seems to be right up here at about the 52 cent mark. Uh, but I, I'd, I'd actually probably call it anywhere from 50 to 52 because you kind of have this little miniature zone right here. So I'll just add another red line. So whatever you want to call it, but from 50 to 52 seems to be that next kind of overall area where if there's going to be any sort of further continuation, that's going to be the zone on the chart that needs to get some breaks up above it. But from where the chart was just a few days ago, there's definitely been some good solid progress. So not just a question of can the bulls continue to build upon this progress going forward? We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.